Hello, uh, today we talk about on-off and the PVM control. I will explain how on-off control and how PVM, pulse wide modulation control, works. I talk about heating and I talk about heating actuators and about heating room controls, room thermostats or automatics. Uh, usually we use uh, on-off actuators in our heating systems for uh, let's say underfloor heating control or for radiator control, radiator control or for let's say fan coils, chill beams control. Uh, actuators uh, usually we have uh, are on off uh, 24 volts or uh, 230 volts and they work usually like this. These are wax filled uh, actuators uh, and they usually open during like uh, five minutes sometimes less, sometimes uh, um, even takes longer time, it depends on producer. So usually they look like uh, this, I can push and open looks like, like this. The indicator shows it is open, if indicator is down, this means actuator is closed. So these uh, wax filled uh, on-off actuators can be controlled uh, from room thermostat or from automatics uh, using on-off signal or pulse-wide modulating signal. Uh, this you can find in uh, instructions or in uh, setup manuals. Uh, for example, I can say Icon uh, 2 system or Icon 1 system can work with uh, on-off signal or PVM signal. Uh, other thermostats like uh, more advanced thermostats, usually they have this uh, pulse wide modulation control. Um, let's say all the production, like more manual or uh, bimetallic thermostats, they don't have PVM control, they are only on off control. So, what is it on off and what is it uh, pulse wide modulation control? I've prepared two graphs. Uh, here, what we have. Here we have um, delta T, uh, here we have percentage of uh, opening. This one is my set point, my room temperature set point. And uh, here is my room temperature plus uh, zero 0.5 degrees. Uh -huh. I'm not working. Plus zero 0.5 degrees and this temperature is minus 0 0.5 degrees. Um, looking at set point, looking at room temperature, uh, please ask yourself a question. In, this po in which position uh, this thermal actuator will be? Uh, if you have set your room temperature at 20 and the real temperature in your room is also 20. Good question, right? Somebody will say uh, actuator will be open, some will say actuator will be closed. Actually, it depends um, on a situation. If, for example, you had 19.5 uh, degrees with on off control signal, uh, thermostat uh, sensed 19.5 degrees, and it switched on the heating switched on the actuator, actuator open it, and uh, now actuator is open. Open, open, at 20 degrees it's still open, and at 20.5 it closes. It senses it is too much, and then uh, it closes. So at this point, actuator is uh, open. And now, uh, room thermostat is waiting, and the room temperature is going down, uh, room temperature is going down, 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 down. Actuator is still closed. And uh, at 19.5, uh, thermostat senses temperature is too low and switches uh, on the actuator again. And then actuator is open. So if it goes from higher temperature to lower, actuator usually is closed. And if it goes from lower temperature to higher temperature, actuator will be open. So this is called uh, on-off control. So this is how simple on-off control 
works. Uh, it is not very precise, but it is, say, a uh, very basic room control. And uh, how PVM control works? PVM control, pulse wide modulation control, uh, works more like a uh, modulating control. It is not pure, 100% pure modulating control, but this is something uh, like modulating control. So uh, here we have, uh, okay, here we have, uh, here, let's see, I will draw like this. Here we have PVM control. Here we will have uh, on off control. Here we will have on off control. So if temperature is uh, plus minus 0 0.5 degrees from the set point, here switches PVM. If it is available in your uh, automatic, uh, automatic, sorry, if it is available in your room control, if you selected PVM, then 0 0.5 degrees from set point, it will switch on. And it depends what you set. Uh, what you set, uh, if, do you have uh, radiator control or you have underflow heating control? Because usually for uh, floor heating, okay, floor heating uh, cycle time is two hours. For radiator heating, cycle might be like, uh, well, let's see, uh, 15 minutes. So let's predict, uh, we have set point 20 degrees and uh, our real temperature is also 20 degrees and our period time is two hours. So actuator will say uh, difference from set point is zero. So this means 50% of time of this period time actuator should be on and uh, the rest of the time 50% actuator should be off. So like one hour on and uh, one hour uh, off because our period time is two hours. For radiators it will be 7.5 minutes on and uh, 7.5 minutes off. After the cycle uh, thermostat is sensing room temperature and if room temperature uh, moved somewhere let's say now it is uh, 20.2 this means uh, difference we have plus let's say 0 0.2 uh, degrees and here we will have let's say 30 percent so um, 30 percent of uh, i will not calculate okay for for heating for radiators so 30% from 15 minutes, probably it will be something like five minutes. So five minutes on and uh, 10 minutes off. And again, it calculates the uh, real temperature and recalculates how uh, much of the time actuator should be on and how much of the time it will should be off. So, uh, Considering uh, actuator is uh, moving quite slow, as I told uh, before, uh, it is opening like five minutes and it is closing five minutes. Sometimes it may take six minutes, sometimes it may take four minutes, but there might be some kind of situation where actuator is not closing and not opening fully. So for example, at this point, it might be floating somewhere uh, in the middle position and having like a not maximum, not closed, but some kind of average flow, uh, maintaining set temperature. And at this point, temperature then is not uh, fluctuating uh, like with on-off control. It stays more or less uh, stable uh, as you set. Uh, here in another graph I can show how uh, temperature fluctuates uh, in uh, reality using on-off control 
and uh, using pulse wire mobilization. So let's see, on off control will be here. My set point, let's say, is 20 degrees. Here we have, uh, let's say, time in minutes. So with on off control, it will look like this. Here we have on, here we have off, here we have on, off, on, off, and it goes like this. Let's say here temperature will be, let's say, 20, 20.5, it would be very precise. Uh, usually it is like 21 or more, and here will be like maybe 19.5, maybe 19 degrees. So this is on off regulation. Okay, and uh, having PVM, pulse wide modulation, uh, our control will be more like this. Not jumping so much, will be more or less stable and much more accurate. PVM control is very important uh, when you have radiators because period time is short uh, because radiators uh, have uh, no inertia. It is it reacts very quickly. It uh, gives uh, a huge amount of heating very quickly and it cools down very quickly. So this is not comfortable uh, for many people having this uh, hot and cold uh, waves uh, from radiator. Uh, for underflow heating, uh, on-off control is acceptable, but of course it is much better having pulse wide modulation. Uh, with pulse wide modulation, uh, thermal actuators uh, live longer. So this is uh, another advantage uh, for your heating system. If you will control with pulse wide modulation, your thermal actuators will last longer. And of course you will have more precise uh, room temperature control. Okay, thanks for watching. See you. Thank you.